My name is Devinder Manget. I'm originally from Kenya. My parents are originally from India, but I was born and grew up in Nairobi and left there when I was 19 and uh, came to the United States. Having grown up in Kenya, which is a British colony, the opportunities to go to college were either stay in the country or go to Great Britain. Having grown up in the British colony, there was a certain amount of prejudice about Indians on the part of the British, and so I decided a long time ago that I didn't want to go to England. But my parents couldn't afford to send me anywhere other than England because England was much more economical. Really, without telling them, I started researching education in the United States and basically found out all about what it's like to get an education in the U.S. and befriended uh, the librarian there. And he was very instrumental in encouraging me to apply to colleges. So uh, without telling my parents, I applied to seven colleges, uh, used the savings from my uh, account to take the SAT and the ACT at the local American high school. And once I got accepted to the colleges, then I told my dad. And his first reaction was, well, I can't afford to send you to the U.S. because in his mind, one year in the U.S. was equivalent to four years in, in Great Britain. So I kind of had a plan. So I told him, I said, you know, you just have to support me for one year and then I'll take care of the rest. And my plan was to basically get jobs, get scholarships and that sort of thing. And so he agreed. So uh, I came to the U.S. I started at Texas A&M University and I picked that because it was the farthest south and it would be the warmest, similar to the Nairobi climate. But after a year, <clears throat> I decided that that was perhaps not the best place for me. And so I transferred to the University of Kentucky. I spent another two years in an undergraduate at the University of Kentucky and then went to medical school at the same place. And graduated from medical school in 1973 and did my internship at the University of Iowa, my residency at the University of Oklahoma, followed by a fellowship in facial plastic and reconstructive surgery in Birmingham, Alabama. And at the conclusion of my fellowship, I decided to uh, start my practice. Going through residency, I realized that uh, I like doing the more finesse type of surgery, the more meticulous type of surgery, much more than the blood and guts type of general surgery or orthopedic surgery. And so that really um, attracted me to facial plastic surgery. With my background in uh, residency being entirely in the head and neck, it was natural for me to pursue a career in facial plastic and reconstructive surgery because I was so familiar with the area, knew all the anatomy and physiology and functions of that part of the body. And uh, quite honestly, I think that uh, as I was to find out later, operating on the face, nose and neck is much more satisfying because that's something that you can readily see that's not covered with clothing. And so the, the, at the same time, there's very little room for error and so you have to be precise and you have to be exact in what you do because you, everybody can see it. 